All right, so we got, I spent seven hours flying to a planet in Starfield's right to video. Last Thursday, I made a video saying that space exploration in Starfield isn't what people thought. I made that video based on a lot of questions I got where people definitely missed information from Bethesda. People were asking me if you can land on a planet or take off from a planet and fly to another planet. She the has nice hair. Not, you cannot. And myself and seemingly quite a few other people had incorrectly assumed that when you land in space in Starfield before you fast travel to a planet or open up your scanner to drop you into the landing animation on a planet that you were yeah. just in a small skybox that would not move you in any direction whatsoever yeah. you'd never get closer to a planet uh -huh. or that you would eventually hit like an out of bounds wall and you wouldn't be able yeah. to go any further that's Again, what i thought both of those things are incorrect but i ended yes. up not being a hundred percent sure and wanted to test it so i did what any sane person would do and spent seven hours flying to Pluto. Now, the reason I picked Pluto, despite it technically not being a planet, I, I mean, know Pluto it is not is like the, going to act it's any the farthest thing from Earth, right? Bethesda's not going to be like, well, Pluto's not a planet. Let's design that differently. I chose Pluto because when you drop in orbit around a planet before you fast travel to it, it was like the shortest distance. Another part of the reason that I chose Pluto instead of choosing Earth was because Earth's orbit was way too fast. It was yeah. so difficult for me to keep up with how fast Earth was moving. That was the first one that I tried, but Earth would just disappear from view if I was flying straight super quickly. Pluto, while it would still shift in and out of frame in about an hour, was much, much slower and thus much more achievable. I didn't have to stay I was gonna say like, the entire time. I, I think Starfield went off of like, actually, in like an actuality, you know? And then went to bed and left Starfield running. But there were hiccups, several of them. Several things that I found to be unexpected challenges in getting to Pluto slash seeing if we could get to Pluto. Now it pretty quickly became obvious that we were actually getting to Pluto as Pluto was getting bigger. So that part yeah. was proving to be worth it. Pluto was getting larger in the screen bit by yeah. bit. And the kilometer distance to Pluto was slowly counting down. And for reference, I was on the base ship with one engine upgrade. Though based on what happened when I actually got there, I don't imagine any ship is ever gonna be fast enough for you to frequently travel between planets. It is. The game is clearly not designed for you to actually be able to do this. It isn't yeah, actually obviously. functional. The game would be like 35,000 yes. terabytes. Did I really get to Pluto? No, you'll see. But I don't imagine no matter how fast your ship is or what engine upgrades you get, that this is ever going to be Oh no, oh no, oh no, not me, girl. <laughs> hey, respect to you. I'm about to make a ship that's going to get to Pluto. systems have orbits, which I think is so unbelievably cool. So the way I figured this out is that as I was flying towards Pluto for a certain amount of time, eventually <laughs> the sphere Sorry, that is Pluto, even though I was centered right in the middle of the planet, would shift out of frame. I think it started going like bottom right and then ended up top left. And I was just so surprised they had factored in I move, orbits. I think was like, moving what like a DVD a logo. cool thing to discover, despite it making this process really <laughs> annoying for me. I expected to be able to go to sleep and set an alarm for seven hours and later. She thought was she was like going to do it I in her it sleep. Take. It seemed like, I think it was every 50 kilometers was about 15 minutes. So I had to set an alarm for every 30 minutes to readjust my ship to make sure that we wouldn't go way out of Pluto's <laughs> orbit and then accidentally overshoot it or like head in the wrong direction, which actually did start happening at one point. Because of that setup, because I had to set an alarm for every 30 minutes, instead of just leaving my Xbox running here in my oh. office, I took the controller into my bedroom and put the stream on my screen in my bedroom. Oh. And so was occasionally waking up and adjusting it with I mean, but that's smart though. That's very smart. Because I was watching the delay of the stream and trying to readjust the ship. It's like clearly very weird movement because yeah, not only was I not in the same room as the Xbox, I don't think the, that actually would have caused much yeah. issue. Like I've played in movie theaters before. The Xbox is like in the projection room. That doesn't seem to cause problems. It was the stream delay that caused the issue. So I was adjusting live Boy, on What's Twitch. going on with the screen? Whoa, 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 whoa. Every 30 minutes. And occasionally uh -oh. my controller would disconnect even though I had it plugged in, which I guess was happening because I was not connected to my xbox wow, i was connected bro, to look at the detail there was one Pluto. part where i slightly overslept and i think the controller was disconnected for like a good several minutes and people were like panicking in the chat <laughs> it was one of the worst sleeps i've oh, ever had i uh, didn't expect that to be part of it also sorry if you can hear my dog chewing a bone in the background but as we got closer woke up in the morning splash some water on my face ready That's to like face do. pluto we nice. finally actually got there one of the wildest things about this is that even while i was asleep streaming nothing but space which by the way i was also sleeping too right it is actually really calming the only downside is that i have one crewmate on my ship who would occasionally cough other than that it's very peaceful there were like four thousand people watching while i was asleep no real so that's when crazy we actually got to pluto as we start uh -oh. to get closer and the nice. planet is at the point where it's taking up the whole screen it's just nice. either white 
or it's black, depending on which way it is facing it's the dripping. sun, which again, oh, the whole okay, orbit mind. thing, very, very, very cool. However, it's extremely low res. You are definitely not supposed to be this close. I mean, why would anyone do this in this game anyway? It's insane. And there are a lot of people who have different opinions about like, oh, what? it's realistic. What did you expect from space travel? Versus like, it's a video game, so you should be able to travel and it should be fun. I think I'm True. in the camp of people of like, the point of this game, especially now that I've played a lot more of it, is that it's an RPG and it's about talking to people. It's yeah. not really a space exploration game and that's okay. Yeah. But how you feel about that is how you feel about that. So we get there. I it, like the, the realness about it. Resolution's terrible. Clearly not designed for you to be this close. And then as I get very, very, very close to the surface, like a few meters away, you start to see the headlights of the ship show up on the planet. So it's like a big white light. Uh-oh. Ooh. It was flat. Pluto confirmed flat. Flat on. We just went right through it. Wait, but it still says zero. Hang on. Am I inside? She got bit and boozled. If I turn around from here, I'm gonna turn around with my engines off. So Boy, I'll be salty. Just to see. If there is. Boy, do you understand me? me? Imagine I wake up, ding, ding, every thirty minutes, and, and, and I get the Pluto, and I go. <laughs> We're inside of Pluto. We're definitely inside of Pluto. They go long, how long does it now take to get out of Pluto? <laughs> Do I just live here now? So you're telling me it so wait, we have whoa, 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 whoa. space. So you're telling me <laughs> physically where they say they are. Bro. How long will bro. it take me to get anyone does anyone know the diameter of Pluto? On Jesus, how long will it take me I'll, to get be out? I'll be salty. Pluto is literally I'll the be, distance bro, bro. we travel to get to Pluto. I'm moving. Or we can confirm that I'm moving if we look at something. Boy, else, I right? bro, I she just went through Pluto like 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 it was a shadow or something. But they're too far away. Okay, yeah, see, Sharon is moving. Okay, they go so Saturn, Uranus, Jupiter. Moving inside Pluto. But I'm in Flying Pluto right now. Orbit, we'll cut the time down. Tell me some go to Sharon. What, what's Sharon? Come into Pluto and not see what it likes to, looks like to get out of Pluto. <laughs> What's that? What's that Sharon? Is that Pluto's uh No noise, move? no impact. As cool as I think it would be if they made you explode. We yeah. actually just clipped straight through the planet and everything became invisible. This is not actually that uncommon in game development to not have anything uh, mapped to the inside of a sphere, but confirmed it is a sphere. It is not flat. It is probably a rotating sphere that is also in orbit, which again, I think is like super cool. But you go inside the planet and it says zero to Pluto. And it said that for as long as I flew, I think I threw, flew maybe like another 15 minutes in one direction and didn't get any further. I didn't get out of Pluto because it is just a big empty sphere. And it is big and I suspect perfectly to scale with every other hollow sphere of a planet inside of the solar system. And this is how I imagine they have done every single solar system. What I don't think you can do, and I still don't know because it would take, you know, I would test it, but it would take a thousand hours, 10,000 hours. I don't think you can fly between systems. If Pluto is the furthest out of the Sol system, I don't suspect that you can fly from Sol to another system. That said, it's possible. And the reason that I think this is even possible is that having a bunch of spheres that don't actually have anything on them and are actually very low resolution, you're just seeing them from really far away, is actually not that intensive for a video game. That's actually not that difficult. I don't think that that's I mean, bad, there are so but many like, of them, I, I but really, like, they're just blow a bunch up of or something. Again, I think the orbits is what I want to die. Cooler. No, no, no. But it's no, not no. actually that hard to have a whole <laughs> bunch of these planets because they're, they're just not very resource intensive. So I don't suspect, again, that you can fly between solar systems, but you may be able to. Uh, I don't know that anyone will achieve that without um, modding. The second part of that is I also still don't know if you can fly from Pluto's orbit to another planet's orbit. So like I said, we spawned outside of Pluto intentionally Wait, I wonder if we and can then go flew to the towards sun. Pluto. I don't know if you can spawn outside of Pluto, mm. like fast travel to outside of Pluto and then fly to the next nearest planet or like fly to Earth. Mm. I don't know if there are separate instances for these planets, but I suspect that it, that you can. I suspect that you can get closer can we go to, to the sun? each planet in every individual solar system. Again, it's weird to I wanna call it burn. a planet. I want to I want to really be on fire. An empty sphere. Um, and eventually we figured that it was a sphere. Not in real I life. I'm talking about like in, in so the I game. flew straight towards Pluto, flew through it and then hooked a left because I figured because of the orbit of the planet, I would come out a little bit faster if I went left than if I kept going straight through because I mean, Pluto is like the distance that I traveled to get to Pluto 
is the same distance that the inside of Pluto would have been. So it would have taken another seven hours to get out. But yes, I hooked a left what? and eventually popped out of Pluto. And weirdly, yeah, Pluto like started to like tuck under me because of the orbit. So the reason I think orbits exist, which again, very cool, was like delighted to discover that here, is so that when you are standing on any of these planets, every other planet in the solar system is accurately moving. So like if you're on a planet that doesn't have light pollution, whatever, you can see all of space, you can see every other planet, they are actually moving around in their correct patterns. So the purpose is not to visit these planets. The purpose is to, when you're on a planet, see the other planets moving in space. That's why I think Todd Howard in one of the presentations said, see the moon, it's actually there. While that is technically correct, the moon is actually there and that you could take off and fly to it and clip through it. <laughs> it is an object that exists in space within the solar system with every other planet orbiting. So no, clearly it is not designed for you to actually visit planets. There is no landing animation. You can't fly to a planet and then land on it like you can in No Man's Sky. They did say that from the start, but you can get up very, very, very close and then eventually go inside of a planet. It is technically possible. You are moving through space. The game is just definitely not designed for you to do that. And honestly, one of the first things that I wanted to try when even booting up Starfield was flying into the sun just to see what would happen. I suspect the exact same thing would happen that happened here, no. but the problem is the sun is so far away. If it took me seven hours to get from Pluto's orbit to Pluto and I'm you can't for a video. spawn near the uh -huh. sun at all, I would have to spawn in the orbit of the nearest planet. Hey, shout out to, shout out to, shout out to this lady right here. I don't, I don't know your name. Um, I never watched your content before, but shout out to you. You have amazing hair, by the way. I just wanted to, hey, listen. I just want to tell you have amazing hair, but listen, I'm gonna find a video where somebody's gonna fly into the sun because, bro, it's the sun. You gotta, bro, your ship has to like blow up. If I can die from some random pirates trying to steal from me in this game, bro, bro, I gotta, I gotta like blow up. I actually wanna blow up in the game. I wanna blow up, you know, whenever I go next to the sun, bro. Bro, I want my, I want my ship to catch on fire or something, bro. I, I want like my, bro, something. She just went through Pluto. Through it. She penetrated, bro, she penetrated Pluto like it was a, like, like she was a bullet, bro. She, bro, like she was an asteroid, bro. And then, and then, and not only that, not only that, the same distance, sorry, or the same time it took her to get to Pluto was the same time it took to get her out of this invisible ball. Isn't my life great?